Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Factorio here in our Step by Step to Mega Base series. In the previous episode we made sure we have access to logistics robots, so our personal crafting just got upgraded a ton. I can just come by here and the robots will be sorting out my inventory accordingly. There's one thing I would like to address that has been mentioned in the comment section a couple of times. I do know that this base here is quite spaghetti. And this is what I've been talking about. We are building a starter base here to kickstart ourselves. This base that you can see right here is going to be completely torn apart. And there's just no sense in tidying things up when we can just make progress. All I cared about is that I still have an acceptable blueprint right here. The factory is more or less compact, I have access to all the resources that I require and we are conducting the necessary research to continue to the mega base. The philosophy I'm going for here is not that you potentially attempt to reconstruct it belt by belt, what I've been doing here, but that you get a general understanding of the concepts that I'm going for and can implement it in your own base. Once we do the mega base stuff, then I'm also going to provide some blueprints. Once we get to this blueprint status, then I even encourage you to criticize the blueprints so that we can make them perfect. Either way, what I've been doing in between the episodes is I drove around the perimeter once, but I can already see this is expanding towards territory. I might want to reconsider cleaning things up there a little bit more. I think we're going to be good on this side, potentially right here. We might want to do some more cleaning, but I'm now going after the Spidertron. So we've done the necessary research to get to this stage. Once we have that research, which is quite a large research, 2500 of each pack, but then as of this point we will be rocking the world. Until then I would suggest we're gonna go for one more cleanup round, so we will have that research finished by the time we come back. And what I will do is actually make my way straight over here across the lake, so we're gonna build some kind of a bridge there. Just take my landfill and if we do this right I should be able to just drive across. Now we can uh, first clean up what I seem to have missed here, or maybe this is just the beginning of a new camp that has spawned. Something else I should mention is I doubled up on my power, so we now have two rows of 40 boilers and therefore 80 steam turbines currently doing their thing to get us the power. This also means I had to upgrade the belt from yellow to red. There's another little encampment we can take care of. Let's do it. Take my bullets, take my shots. Oh, little autosave. Maybe that's not the worst moment to get that. Very easy but they were not really a problem. I think I need to make my way to the north now. Oh, there is a nest I just discovered that wasn't there before. I think another step I might want to take now is to set up a network of radars. So I have full overview of what's happening. There's another nest that wasn't on the map before, so this is kind of concerning and it is gonna happen more frequently as of this point since the biters have become quite evolved by now. Okay, I think this is the last one that I have to take apart, but geez, it's the biggest one I think so far. At least there aren't too many cliffs with this one, but I should not get too distracted by the critters and go straight for the nests. Okay, maybe I took on a little bit more than I can chew here, but as long as my health bar doesn't go down, I think the big ones, they can only really hit you if you get slowed down by good margin. But if they manage to hit you, they hit you hard. Okay, it's time to flee. I don't want to risk anything. Well, I'm basically risking something, but dude, that's why I have my trusty repair robots. Alrighty, we are back and the Spidertron research has finally been conducted. Let's go straight for Power Armor Mark II. That is also something we can make use of. Now there's something I had to do and that is hook up another coal vein right here. And I also introduced another train. Because with the increased amount of boilers we are also using much more coal. And I think what we should also do is upgrade the inserters here. At the moment this train doesn't continue because we don't extract the coal quick enough. And there is another coal train coming. I think slowly but surely we get it under control. I'm gonna go with this train in order to also upgrade the inserters at the vein just to be sure things go a little bit quicker. Yeah, we can definitely go ahead and at least upgrade all of these inserters. The vein isn't big enough to have to upgrade the other ones. And this is what I wanted to see. Destination form. Absolutely fantastic. That means as soon as this train here leaves and it should be empty momentarily. Wait, why aren't you going? You could be going to ore, but it doesn't want to. 
Oh, full cargo inventory. What am I talking about? This should be set to empty. Okay, looks like we still have some coal inside of the chests, which is good. That means now we can dedicate our time to actually crafting the Spidertron. What do we need? Some exoskeletons, some fusion reactors, a rocket launcher, efficiency module 3, 150 low density structures, 16 rocket control units and a freaking raw fish. So it's a tall order, maybe I should start collecting some of these materials inside of a chest. Let's get started with the exoskeletons. We need four of them, which means we need more units, which I'm crafting somewhere. I also needed plenty of low density structures, so we're just gonna let this chest fill up, I think. Then I gotta craft four rocket launchers. Oh yeah. I can't wait to replace the freaking tank, especially for traveling reasons. The rocket control units seem to be easy to craft and we only need 16 of them. So let's do those. Power Armor Mark II also researched, which is perfect timing. We need to craft that as well. And then in the meantime, let's maybe go for some more mining productivity. No, we should go and unlock more stuff here. Yeah, sure. Weapon shooting speed. I'm going to be upgrading some military stuff right now. So I'm not going to be mentioning every research. To make one portable fusion reactor, we just need 200 processing units and low density structures. These are also made in the background here. Maybe I should be making some more space right now. Yeah, I'm collecting two stacks. Let's just collect three of the processing units. Now I can make the last exoskeleton. What else do we need? I'm gonna need two efficiency module three. Yeah, let's just craft that in the background. I think there are certain things we can move. For instance, low density structures. I don't see a reason not to build them here. Also, yeah, the crafting machines, like assembling machines. I want them to be crafted automatically and therefore also the speed modules. I'm gonna set up speed modules here. This would be the assembling machine one, assembling machine two, and then we have another one here, assembling machine three. You get a requester chest and then storage chests as well. Just gonna need some red circuits here, 200, that is more than enough. Let's maybe just do 100 and then we collect one single stack here. By the way, you can also just shift click and copy this over into the requester chest, but I usually don't do that because the amounts that it requests are not the right ones. What I could do though is just request them and then set the right amounts myself. The problem is just as soon as it is set, hundreds of robots are gonna bring the materials. So this is why I usually don't do that. And I just look at the materials that I need. I know this is a little bit more agonizing, but at least the worst thing that can happen is the robots are gonna bring me one single stack. This thing right here, I believe I'm gonna set this up to collect low density structures. We just need to add copper plates and plastic bars to the requester chest. So now I'm crafting the low density structures here and I don't need to do them in the old crafting system any longer. Yeah, honestly, this is still going to take a little while. I'm mainly waiting for the circuits and I also don't really want to snatch it from here. Yeah, this can barely keep up either. So maybe after conducting this research, I'm gonna wait for a little while so I can dedicate all the researches to the crafting project I have going on right now. We also still want to craft the power armor, which is right here, which is also gonna require quite a few things. Like we definitely also want to automate the efficiency modules. We're gonna add that right next to it. So efficiency one, I want these automatically crafted and then maybe I'm gonna craft the efficiency twos in my inventory or I'm just gonna set up a crafting assembler for this job. We should now have enough materials to build at least one portable fusion reactor. And this thing is just so great. It is gonna output up to 750 kilowatts, contrary to one solar panel that was outputting 30 kilowatts. Okay, wonderful. I just need a little bit more time to collect the materials. Now that I'm currently not researching, some of the materials should accumulate or at least I can snatch up the blue circuits here and no one is gonna be bothered. Also the low density structures right there, I'm gonna take them gladly. Good, now I just need to find one raw fish. I was so sure that I actually had one, but I have no idea where I left it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab another one. Now we have everything except one portable fusion reactor and we would be getting that by having enough processing units. Could I maybe get another one of these in the joint to speed things along? Yeah, sure. This is um, kind of working. 
Oh, actually, I realized we don't need a second machine. What we actually need is a much faster inserter. Yeah, that was actually the problem. We need like 20 electronic circuits and I wasn't getting them in quick enough. We can even upgrade this to a stack inserter and then maybe we need quicker access to these electronic circuits. Like one thing we could do is upgrade this system to have the quick assemblers. This should make it almost three times as quick. Yeah, that was a good idea. We almost got it. Just one more circuit. Give me that. And now we can craft the portable fusion reactor. Oh, let me cancel some of these crafts. I'm just crafting in the background while doing other stuff. But now with this second reactor, we should be able to build it. Let me see. Let's just grab all of these materials here. And then Spidertron Ahoy. Yes, give me that. Give me that. Oh, I started crafting again. What am I doing? There it is. How wonderful. And of course, we're also going to craft ourselves a Spidertron remote. This is half the reason they are just amazing. Let's deploy this bastard right there. Oh, yes, I missed you so much. Looking inside, we have the space for quite a bit of ammo. And then there is the grid. We can add things like fusion reactors and exoskeletons. And there is also a logistics area because, of course, it has a trunk that can be filled with various things. But yeah, this has been the first step. The second step would be the power armor and to actually build all the fusion reactor stuff, the batteries that we're going to require for the Spidertron. So maybe we're just going to get some more materials prepared. But for now, I would like to uh, combine that. Yeah, I think that's already connected. Now I can tell it to go anywhere. And of course, it can just move across everything. It is just absolutely amazing. But now we also have to switch to explosive rockets. We can easily do that. At the moment, we were making the cannon shells, but we can just switch the recipe to go for rockets. And then, of course, we upgrade them to explosive rockets. So let me just go ahead and do some more crafting. Also prepare everything for the explosive rockets. And then I'm going to be back with the status update. Alrighty, I am back and quite a bit of time has passed. However, I achieved my goals of filling up the grid of the Spidertron. This is the initial configuration I'm gonna go with. Three exoskeletons, the portable fusion reactor, two batteries and two energy shields with two personal laser defenses. Together with a whole bunch of explosive rockets, this should be a piece of cake now. And just look at that. I'm fast and I can walk over everything. This is just such an improvement. And then over here, instead of crafting the cannon shells, I'm now crafting the rockets. Because we have four rocket launchers on board, we can actually launch these rockets really quickly. I can then combine this with a couple of grenades that I still have here. And of course, we should be protected by the energy shield. Now, currently, I'm getting the last of the materials necessary for the power armor. And for that, I had a little setup right here that isn't necessary anymore because now I do have all the speed modules and efficiency modules necessary to craft it. This means my normal power armor can go out of commission and I'm going to take things apart. I'm also going to need the, the robo ports here, the night vision, and I'm going to keep the belt immunity. I'm going to keep a whole bunch of batteries and this. Yeah, let's just go ahead and unequip the suit. And then I think with Y, yeah, with Y, I can actually drop some stuff because my inventory is full. Power armor mark two. That should give me enough space to pick everything up again. Now, obviously, the grid is much bigger and we have the space for a portable fusion reactor, probably multiple of these exoskeletons. But more importantly, I want to craft myself a personal RoboPort Mark II. Let's grab some low density structures and get this done. We can then also add a bunch of batteries that should be good. Maybe also personal laser defense would be nice. But let's get some stuff out of the way, such as the belt immunity and night vision. Not yet sure where I'm going to keep all of these things. But of course, robo ports. We want multiple robo ports. Let me see. We can craft another three here. I just need to collect some batteries and I can craft the remaining two. Now, wherever I am, I can just call my Spidertron. It's going to be coming very quickly giving us the necessary support. Now, one thing I'm not sure about is if the personal laser defense in my suit is actually going to do something when I'm inside the Spidertron. But I think it's worth experimenting around with it. So I'm just going to add it maybe up there. And then I definitely would like to see one or two more exoskeletons. But with two robo ports, we can now also support 50 construction robots. That means I should craft another 30. 
So now whenever I'm doing something such as deforesting, it is gonna be done very quickly. Let me actually move things around a little bit. This is bad because we have to recharge the robo ports, but with the fusion reactor, it almost doesn't matter. Now we have two exoskeletons, so we are much quicker. I think I would like to see one more and then maybe a second portable fusion reactor wouldn't be the worst of ideas. I mean, at this point, it is quite easy. I can just go ahead and collect these processing units. There we go. Once I got my 200 units, I think it will be time to re-engage research. Might be a good idea to invest in lasers at this point. And now this research should go rather quickly since we stacked up on research packs while we were doing the crafting. I think I'm gonna move these over like so. And then we have the space for another reactor. We might add another turret here if that actually does anything. Build that uh, portable fusion reactor and we are done. Good, with that out of the way, I would say it's time to put this to the test. And I can just tell it to go somewhere on the map while I'm planning out other stuff, looking at stuff. Of course, it is much quicker and I'm not going to be stopped by anything. This is a huge milestone. But yeah, now it's time to put this to the test. And hopefully this is going to be so much fun that I'm willing to dedicate some time to eradicating these nests. Yes, look at that. The personal laser defense is actually working. It is doing something. This is amazing. We might not even need the freaking rockets too much. Let's do another one of these and then portable reactor give me more shoes. So we might even add a third of these lasers and then maybe two energy shields. But yeah, as of this point, I really wouldn't want to be a critter on this planet. Hello guys, cliffs. Yeah, I don't worry about cliffs anymore and we can just walk through here. We got our energy shield and I'm just going to be using the rockets if I feel I'm overwhelmed. Or maybe just one or two rockets for good measure. But yeah, I gotta say, so far I'm really happy. This moment is truly one to remember. Every time I get to this point, I just cannot imagine the struggle we were willing to go through. They stand no chance. Oh, actually, they did manage to damage me a little bit here. But I was pretty reckless there. Also, my power armor seems to be holding up quite easily. So I don't see a reason why not to add more and more laser defense. Yeah, I love it. This is gonna be the plan. But first, we're gonna enjoy another camp here. Hello, guys. Nathan was here. Okay, there's a big one here. Let's just shoot some rockets. Yeah, 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 yeah. Walk around erratically and then make our way around the camp. I'm just gonna focus the rockets on the worms and the nests. The lasers will be taking out everyone that follows me. Oh, another research done. Wait, we have time for that. Energy weapon damage, yes, yes. All the nests are done here. This would have taken me like 15 minutes previously. I'm not even bothered to go over here afterwards. As a matter of fact, we're gonna clean this area. I just wanna have some more fun, but then I'm gonna fill up my inventory with even more turrets. Turrets are awesome. Very nice. And just like that, I have made another round around the entire perimeter. I even expanded it and it was quite a bit of fun. So now I'm making my way back to restock on rockets, but more importantly, I need to do something about the power use of the Spidertron. I'm not yet sure. Maybe let me know in the comments what you think is better, if we replaced one of the energy shields with another personal laser or vice versa. We could also just have one laser in here and another energy shield or maybe two more batteries or maybe lose one of the exoskeletons. No, actually, this is kind of the slowest speed I want to go for. Yeah, maybe overall let me know what kinds of configurations you usually go for. Right now I'm just building three more personal laser turrets. That will give me five lasers plus two with the Spidertron, so seven at the same time. Still, the rockets right here are also valuable because the less I have to use the lasers, the better energy-wise. Wonderful. I would say with that out of the way, we can in good conscience wrap up this episode. In the next one, we will definitely continue researching and we might just go ahead and unlock the white science pack as well. We are just two researchers away from it. We first need to do the rocket silo and then the pack, which would then allow us to plan out the white science pack while we do the rest of the research. But with that out of the way, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it for everyone who's watching this series. I'm enjoying it quite a bit. And with that said, have a great time. And hopefully I'm going to catch you in the next one. Bye bye.